Hi, my name is Troy Beekle, Horticulture Specialist with Premier Tech, and I want to talk to you today about the Promix BK55. But a couple of questions I'd like to ask first. Are you looking for a growing medium that has extra weight and great drainage for outdoor crops? Are you also looking for a growing medium that does not tie up nitrogen? If you answer yes to any of these questions, Promix BK55 is an option for you. The application of the Promix BK55, first of all, let me explain what the wording means. BK is the word bark without the letters AR in it, and the number next to the BK represents percentage of bark. So BK55 can be used for a large number of crops, so you can use it for flowering annuals, mums, perennials, fruit, trees and shrubs, as long as they're planted in six inch pots or larger. It is basically an all purpose for some greenhouse crops, but it's mostly designed more for outdoor crop production. This product, BK55, is made in our Virginia plant, so it's only available in the East Central United States. BK55 is formulated with 55% processed yellow pine bark, which adds weight and drainage to the growing media, and it's screened at a half inch minus. We also add in Canadian sphagnum peat moss, perlite, which helps with drainage and air porosity, a wetting agent to help peat moss, which is naturally hydrophobic, to absorb water, we also add in dolomitic limestone to adjust the pH in the 5.2 to 6.2 range. Typically, it usually lands out around 5.4 to 5.9. And we add a starter fertilizer charge. It does include a bit of gypsum to help with boosting the calcium and sulfate, but the, but the starter fertilizer charge does provide about seven days worth of feeding. The electrical conductivity of this growing media starts out in the range of about 1.5 to 2.5 millimoles per centimeter. We do recommend beginning fertilization a week after planting. So the features of the BK55, of all the growing media that we manufacture for Promix, this one has the lowest water holding capacity and the most rapid dry down. And that's due mostly because of the high percentage of the processed pine bark as well as the perlite, which does provide that great drainage, high air porosity, and low water holding percentages. The bark in the Promix BK55 also has high bulk density, which helps to reduce pot toppling in the case of windy conditions and outdoor situations. There's also a lower concern of overwatering because of the product having great drainage, which decreases the possibility of root disease, especially during rainy, cool weather outside. The Promix BK55 comes in two options. The first one would be the Promix BK55 Mycorrhizae or the standard product. Mycorrhizae is a natural endomycorrhizal fungi that helps acquire water and nutrients such as phosphorus, copper, manganese, and zinc and brings them back to the plant roots where the plant roots aren't present in the growing media. So the benefits of the Promix BK55, it's ideal for larger containers, specifically used more or less for outdoor growing or even some indoor growing as well inside a greenhouse. The product is quality tested to ensure the uniformity from bag to bag and season to season, unlike some local produced products. If the mycorrhizae is included in the product, it will help to improve nutrient acquisition, and there's also potential savings that could occur if you can reduce your fertilizer application rates. So some tips when using Promix BK55, as I mentioned earlier, begin fertilization within seven days after planting. But keep in mind, the starter fertilizer within the product is consumed by natural microbes coming from the peat and the bark itself, so once the product gets in that six month age range, you might want to consider looking at what the nutrient levels are and maybe even start fertilizing from the first time you plant. Typically we recommend using the Promix BK55 within six to nine months after the, the date of manufacturing because of the loss of, of not only the starter fertilizer charge, but also the wetting agent. Thank you for listening.